Hi YouTube, it's Trevor here, Summit or Nothing. Just going to talk to you today about a couple of books that have been brought back to my attention with all the news of the tragedies in Everest again this year, where a high volume of people have died trying to summit the tallest mountain in the world. This tragedy is nothing new, you know, it's just going to become more more of a regular occurrence unless something is done. Well, there's a number of books on the subject and there's been a film, the Everest movie and uh, the book uh, Into Thin Air is also a good one but the two that I own are the two I'm going to talk about. The Death Zone by Matt Dickinson which takes place on, during the same season as Into Thin Air and Everest the year that there was the killer storm basically. Matt Dickinson is a TV producer for ITV and he was approached by Brian Blessed to make a program following Brian Blessed up Everest. Now this book is brilliant because it's it's in a, it's told from a perspective of someone who's not really ready mentally or physically for Everest. Matt Dickinson sort of jumps in with both feet and you see the mountain from a different perspective completely. He's He's quite frightened, he's quite disturbed by what he sees up there, the carnage, and I think during the, his time on the mountain the disaster's already struck, so he's going up the mountain knowing that people have already died doing what he's trying to do with Brian Blessed. Um, and he sort of tells about the appalling sort of state of things up there you know not just passing dead bodies because once someone dies up above the death zone they can't be removed but not just about passing the dead bodies and sort of meeting people who die and things like that but also about the sordid conditions the squalid conditions the further you get up the mountains um you know just litter and sort of waste human waste and, and things that haven't that don't deteriorate up up above a certain level there's nothing to sort of eat them so years and years of filth and waste and rubbish and litter is just still there on Everest so you get this perspective of Everest that you don't usually get in a book it's a tragedy tragic book but it's told in such a way that it it's a real page turner and it's told from a human perspective He's no hero, he's out of his element, and uh, it, you just get that sense that he's a normal person, possibly shouldn't be up there. The second book is based 10 years after the 1996 storms, and it's, it's called Dark Summit by Nick Hale. And this book really echoes what's going on this year. 2006 hailed here Everest's most controversial season. It was a year when I think 11 people died and there was no storm, you know. There was no reason for 11 people to die other than overcrowding, uh, bad organisation, people taking silly risks, people who shouldn't be up there, who've just got more money than sense putting other people at, at danger, at risk, and this is a real a real eye-opener. And he looks really closely at the whole season and the whole sort of industry that's growing and who's to fault, who's to blame. You know, and people are up there and there's confusion up there between groups, sort of head counts going wrong, oxygen bottles unaccounted for, um, it's sad to read this book set in 2006 and then to be in 13 years later and it's still going on. And it sort of proves the point that something has to happen. There has to be some kind of change up on Everest because people are, unless there's some sort of regulation, you should have to have tests for your fitness because even people who are physically fit struggle. So it shouldn't just be a case of having the money to afford it. There should be a limit to how many people can go up at a time. 
and I know the seasons are limited so if you have to go on a waiting list for years and years I don't know if such a thing exists but something needs to be put in place to stop this from happening when you see the amount of people I mean it was like I saw a video on YouTube earlier and it was like Snowden up there you know people queuing to get up to the summit and when you're in the death zone your body is just breaking down your brain cells not working you're you've got no oxygen you're, you're basically on the edge of space and um, you shouldn't be hanging around there it should be quick up and down so it's just yeah the, this book the dark summit and the death zone two books that I highly recommend as well as uh, into thin air by John Krakow I think his name was all three books I've read and they are absolute gems tragic but they're really well written and I think anyone who's into mountains into mountaineering or even hiking you know because I'm just a hiker and I just found them just some really good reads so yeah just check them books out I'll put links below if you wanted to sort of find those books fairly easily but yeah definitely worth checking out